Can we see Tommy over his massive screen? 16 inch. <laughs> Oh no, I've got screen envy. Why is Tommy's computer bigger than mine? Hello you two. How are you Hello, doing? Hello you. I've got a question for you. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's now I feel every time you go, I've got a question for you, I'm like... <laughs> it's, not that, <laughs> it's not that question. It's because you know it. <laughs> it's a really easy one. If you had to go out and spend your own money on a car that got under the current government grant, that's £32,000, what would it be? Go on, off the top of your head. You've got to, you've got to choose. You've got to choose. You've got to choose. Right now? Yeah. You've got to choose something. Maybe the, maybe the Honda E. Oh. Uh, I, I think you think it might be a little bit over it. Well, what would yours be? Oh! <laughs> Don't change the subject. Okay. Um, we'll let you, we'll come back to that. Um, uh, Fiat, uh, Fiat 500, our electrifying car oh, of the that's year. that's a good I call. I love that car. That's a good call. Uh, I know what I'd pick. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. It, uh, <laughs> Go on. Well. Uh, Just say it. It. I'd, I'd pick a Citroen e Berlingo. Okay, okay. I know that's a bit, it's a bit side, it's, it's a bit a weird. It's a proper dad car, isn't I'm it? I'm down for that. <laughs> I'm down. Don't Ooh. laugh. I knew you'd laugh. It used to look like a dog's dinner, right? But it's, <laughs> now it looks like a slightly fat spaceship. Let's come back to that because this leads us nicely into today's video, everybody. Um, we're going to take a look at the best cars that you can buy right now for under £32,000, which is, of course, the government grant cut-off point. Um, but before we kick off, please do switch those notifications on and subscribe to the channel. Do all that stuff. Beep. Right, who's going first? Me. Go on then, get it out of the way. Why do you love the Bilingo? Well, yeah, I just oh, feel like I have to justify myself all of a sudden because both of you have smirked. No, you're doing it now. I'm, I'm waiting for the good excuse for the, real, for the real reason. That's what I want to hear. I think this is a, right. It used to look really bad. Like the Berlingo is a van. They've just redesigned it. Looks really quite good now. Like it, it just looks quite neat. It's got 50 kilowatt battery, 175 miles of range. But like we said, it's got seven seats. So if you've got to do the school run, with your kids and a couple of mates, so this doesn't apply to you. Maybe, maybe not a way. Yet. It not yet. works and it doesn't look rubbish anymore. So I'm going practical. I'm saying Citroen e Berlingo would be my pick right now. It's a good one. Boom, mic drop. You know what, it's a, it's a fair choice uh, because I think if you're buying an electric car anyway, yeah. you want something that's also practical. Yeah, of and course. I think that's got practical written all over it. Is that a diss? You've just... No, no, I think <laughs> you've just... I'm, I'm, I'm on your side. I think you've just damned me with faint praise. I mean, I wouldn't want to be the kids sitting in it, oh getting God. dropped off at school, but it's okay. <laughs> That's not fair. Do, do you reckon we could convince Nikki that it is the ultimate family car? Oh, and that when, she, uh, won't, the, she won't do it. When the new baby comes, that's not the car chance. she's got to have. She won't do it. Okay. Not a chance. Right, um, what would you pick? What would I pick? Okay, so I, I chose the Fiat 500, our electrifying car of the year, but I'm actually going to talk about the car I really drive that is my car. What? An, a BMW iX60 with 700 horsepower? No, what car do a you Ferrari? think? Ferrari? No, no, no. Go on, what is it? It's a Peugeot E208. So it's a, it's a great car. It's a small car. It's cheap it's, to run, that's it's why you It's relatively know. inexpensive, cheap to run, obviously, <laughs> but it's got a decent range. So claimed yeah. range is 217 miles. Probably won't surprise you that I generally don't get that out of it. You get half. No, it's How not that bad. How much are you getting out of it properly? 170-ish. That's not bad I know. though. It also charges quickly. But the best thing is it is absolutely brilliant to drive. Yeah. I think it is one of the best driving electric cars. I really do. And that I include a lot more expensive cars in that. It's Fair. nippy, handling, ride, fantastic. It's great. I think the car that gets closest to it. I know it's the same as a Corsa E, isn't it? So it's got all the same bits underneath as a Corsa E. Yeah. But the Peugeot's just that little bit, it's just a bit cooler. It is. Yeah. Like I, I don't really want a Corsa. I'd have an E208. Tell you what, I think Peugeot's probably one of the few brands that have kind of redesigned their product. Totally. To, for the better. Yeah. So the, people, other brands, some other brands have tried it. <clears throat> Kidney grill. <laughs> it, it just doesn't work. But I think they've done a really good job. Like it, it stands out on the motorway when you see it, you know, the headlights and stuff, you can guess what it is from distance. Yeah. And, and I think it's not a bad car all round. But they did the interiors as well, didn't they? So yeah. everything, some people don't like them. They're a bit like crazy at certain points, but it's different. Yeah, so, so we're united in the fact that you all have got envy about my I car. I did not say that. <laughs> if, if you're really lucky, I might lend it you for a weekend. If it comes with two grand extra. If it gets valeted. Let's know. move on. Let's move on. Tommy, <laughs> over to you. I think for me, it would be the under E. And I think that shouldn't come as a surprise just because I love tech in cars. It's got to have the tech. Hang on. Yeah. Honda E. 
So you know this I is cut. I did you not, know this I did is not cars. stutter. I said Whoa. under E. Whoa. So you know this is cars in, that get under the government grant. Mm -hmm. uh, how flexible are you being? It starts. I'm back at the gym, so I'm flexible <laughs> as I can be right now. It so starts that's, at that's okay. Thirty-three grand. I think you're cheating. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You can't. No, you can't. No, I've got. That's... I've got a good plan for this. One of Manos's lenses costs a bit extra that he doesn't use. Because it's not like swap in. shop. He's that's, chipping in. I don't think that's how it works. You know and it's also he, not second hand. Oh, listen, just he's just, cheating. Just no, no, no. Humor, he, humor in. He can charge. He's got a three pin plug inside of the car that Manus can charge his equipment in the car. That is quite cool. So we're both going to chip in because he gets to borrow some money from some of the electric. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> but besides that, he's got five displays in there. You know, he's got a decent range for city driving. It's cute. Like, you can't deny it. You are selling it. Yeah. But it still doesn't qualify. Does it get I don't know. The I'm sticking. Oh, all right. So you're going to give up coffee for a year, maybe cash That's in your gym membership, Manos' yeah. lens from the camera, yeah, 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 and we'll yeah. let you have the Honda E. Manos, yeah, okay. abso absolutely. That's all what right. we're going to do. I, I think uh, your next choice is going to have to be a little bit less expensive than that. She's totally got a favourite, and I'll give you a clue, it's not me. It's not true. You just you just let him get away with completely cheating on he's the one rule we had. He's giving up coffee in the gym, and he might put some trainers I, on eBay. I, I think people who are into tech would happily pay that extra just to get that car. Shall I bring you in on some? Bring you back down to earth. Let's bring you back. So, what about a couple? That's actually a couple of cars that um, they're not very sexy. Mm -hmm. they don't look at me like that, but they are <laughs> practical. <laughs> It's from a brand that actually has come up with some of the cars that we respect the most over the past couple of years. It's MG. Okay. So MG5, which is like a small estate car, and the MG ZS, which is like a little SUV, medium-sized SUV, you know, like every electric car seems to be at the moment. They are, I, I'm not going to say cheap, they're value for money. And they work, and both of them come with a long-range option now, so you get 250-ish miles of range. They're a decent quality. They're not going to make, you know, you're not going to get kissed by a lot of people for driving yeah. one, but they work. And I think if you're looking for cost effective electric motoring, you can't beat MG across the board. And MG is selling absolutely loads of cars in they the really UK are. at the moment. I keep seeing them on, on the roads, especially around London, but I think their brand awareness, maybe not awareness, brand perception yeah. still needs work. It's, it's one of those cars where you see it on the road and you think, oh, they're still making those. It's be like seeing like a, I don't know. Tommy, Tommy, it's I'm just imagining sexy, people at home now putting on the shouty caps. No, no, no um, offense, no okay. offense, but it's it's a car that I see all the time, and I'm always going. Even when my dad sits in the car, he's just like, "Oh, MG still exists." <laughs> <laughs> right. So, shall I let me talk about the car then that I chose as my uh, car that I would have, which of course I don't have, but um, I would have the Fiat 500. Oh. I know. I yeah, I tra I trade my Peugeot in for that. There's so many reasons we made that our car of the year. Mm. It, it looks looks great. It offers a convertible version. I think it looks like an angry emoji. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing. Is it not? It's got a character. Yeah. It looks like it's a got cartoon character. character. Yeah. I think it's a, it's, a cute, it's a cute little car and it's, it, it, it's I low-key like this car. So for me, it's like a, you know those TV shows Can you watch but you don't tell it? people that you watch it? You, 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 you low-key like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. Selling Sunset. It's about selling Property it's that it's that it's that it's that TV key. show you cancel your plans to go watch at home, but you That's never it. tell oh, anyone you Queer watch Eye. it. Queer Eye, Queer Eye is that program. For there me. you go, Queer Eye. Yeah. Okay. So the the, fi the Fiat Five Hundred E is like is that car that car you? that you, you you don't tell people you love it, but one of the reasons that I love the car a lot is that it's obviously just doesn't look that different from the outside to the previous generation, but where it really mattered, they have transformed this car. The interior. It's got a cracking interior. Yeah, I agree. It's absolutely brilliant. I agree. And it's got all the all the tech that you want. You know, absolutely. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Yeah. It, you know, even you. Standard as well, which That's is even, true. Which is, yeah, I think they're trying to be like it on the. <coughs> Do you anyway. think it's a girl's? Yeah. It's a girl's car, and it, you struggle if you're a big guy. I'm, I'm just well, speaking for a friend. That, actually, so. Uh... Listen, I'm comfortable in my skin, so I'd happily drive one of those. Okay, we're looking at you. Oh, God, I drive anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't worry about me. I think another one that I, pr I could go for, maybe the ID3. Oh, okay. you like them, don't yeah, you? I, I yeah, do yeah, like the yeah. ID3, and I've spoken so much about it that I've got friends and family who's gone and bought one as well, just oh, man, because I, 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 I spoke about it too much. It's, it's spacious inside, but when you look at it on the outside, you don't think it's that big, but obviously battery, you've got more space inside, and it's got... Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it's got yeah. all the basics that you need in the car and the range is decent. 
Do you like the selector? Because I think that gear selector. No, it really divides opinions. I'm a big gear stick person, rather than. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the stalk. I don't like that. Just, just keep it there. I want to double declutch, and I don't want any kind of synchrony. Can, can I just tell you, I'm driving a Model Three at the moment, and you know how the stalks there yeah. on the right hand side. It's been raining a lot. I'm constantly putting it in and out of gear because it's my automatic thing. It's just I know, I know that that's not what, how you turn yeah, the wipers yeah, yeah. on, but I can't get out of that habit. There's a good thing with the ID3 though, is that. You've got quite a lot of options, haven't you? You can Absolutely. have a smaller battery, bigger battery, faster car, you know, more range. Yeah. You get to choose what you what suits your what suits your lifestyle. Only the forty-five um, kilowatt hour battery will be eligible for the grant. I'm just ex oh, just putting that out there for you. Um, but don't you think it's a great first step if you're new to electric? Yes, absolutely, I think. In fact, all the ones that we've picked, they're all easy to get on with. Yeah, yeah. Not the Honda E. I'm not letting you have that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, Listen. It's, it's too clever for its own good. It's, it's, if you've got, you got a PlayStation 5 or Xbox that you want to plug into your car, you want, you want a big display. It's, not, it's still not going to work. Yeah, you've got Coming. a three-pin plug in the car. It's you've got those fancy mirrors on the side. It's a cute little car. You can get in some nice colours. <laughs> Don't listen to these guys. I work with children. I literally work with children. <laughs> I can't believe he cheats and everybody ignores it. Okay, right, okay. Um, let's bring it back down to earth again. What's, come on, what are you going to go oh, for? I, I mean... I, let's choose another so one. So there's, there's, there's a couple of cars that... What happened was when the government kept changing everything, the manufacturers kept going, oh, we've got to change the pricing so that it still kept the grant so that everything worked. One of them is one of the cars that has been my favourite for quite a long time, a Hyundai Kona. Oh, it's a good car. So it's a weird sized thing because it's a bit like a hatchback, but it's slightly raised up, but it's not really a four wheel drive. It's an SUV, but it's not, it's little. There's a smaller battery one with a, a 39 kilowatt hour battery and that sneaks in. And I still think it's a really good car and it, it, it's kind of funky looking. It's not... It's solid, isn't it? It's a good, solid choice. He's not agreeing with us. It's, 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 it's a family car, You I don't think. like them because they, they have got versions with engines, don't you? And you think that if it's going to be bespoke, it's... Uh, it, I just... You can, you can, You're not loving it. They don't look too bad, don't get me wrong. Um, Oh, you're really good with the uh, damning praise today, aren't you? I just... It's just... It might, look, it's, it, it's, 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 it's a great option. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. All right. What do you think of my next choice? Uh, mini electric. <laughs> ah, I do like the mini electric. It's so obvious, though, isn't it? I don't care. You know what? There's a reason you see minis absolutely everywhere. It's because people, people love them. Because people have no imagination. No, it's not. It's because they have a great car. This car is super fun to drive. Mm, it looks it fun cute. It's at the affordable end of the electric car spectrum. It's actually less expensive to buy than some of the other models in the range that right. aren't electric. So I think it's brilliant. Um, one in three cars rolling off the production line at Mini at the moment is electric. That's great. So yeah, so, wow. it, it so they're has, on track. Yeah, and I think everyone thought that because it's got that small battery, 32.6 kilowatt hours, very modest range. How much range is it really? You two both operate uh, quite a bit in the city, don't you? Yeah. And you've both had Mini E's, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. much range do you get out of it in town? Uh, uh, well, when I've it's 145 claimed range. I reckon yeah. I've been getting like 100 out of it. Yeah, 90 if if, <laughs> if I blast my heat in and, and yeah. all that stuff. But yeah. I think you don't worry though when you drive around the city. It's yeah, it's not as much of a problem as it no. would be for me who gets on a motorway and goes. It's pointless. Yeah. But Mini really did their research with this because they, they looked into what their their users um, and their customers how much they drive. A lot of minis are second cars. You know, right. we drive on yeah, average awesome, twenty yeah. miles a day. Yeah. So for yeah. loads of people, if you've got, you can charge that at home every night. It works absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It feels um, like a mini as well, doesn't it? It does. It does. Absolutely and that's, does. That's, that's the it's the interior, isn't yeah. it? That quality of the yeah. interior is great. You get in and it doesn't feel any different. You just. You, Do you yeah. know my favourite fact about What's mini that? electric? No one. You know they did when they launched it. They had those wheels that were like a plug. Yeah. They were called the Corona alloy. Oh yeah, I forgot oh. about that. It was really bad time. I felt they had so to change much that really quickly. They had to change it. I was like, eh, okay, that and the beer then. Forgot about that. Marketing department like this, quick. <laughs> yeah, that was a busy old period for them. Yeah, yeah. I think the problem is that the biggest expense in a in a battery electric vehicle is the battery. So the bigger battery you have, the more expensive it gets real quick. So like if you, what's the Mini got? Like a 35, 36 in the Honda E, kilowatt hour, they can keep the price down. You make that 70 odd, 
like a Polestar 3 or a Polestar 3. <laughs> Do what you're doing, a Polestar 2. Oh, I wish I'd driven this car. I thought it wasn't coming until later in the year. We've all had it. <laughs> Damn. It, um, it suddenly doubles in price. So it, they do get expensive. It's more about being able, like Ginny says, about being able to charge them up quickly when you get there. Yeah. yeah. And if they if, are if expensive. All of these electric cars are expensive. <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, let's uh, let's move on. Do you know the car I could see you in? Which one? From Maybach. The Vauxhall Mocha E. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you've got to drive it for six months. It's a good little... Do you, know, do you remember the first Mocha? I do, but you know what, though? I, I, I take it back a little bit because I feel like... Vauxhall are doing some great work when it comes to design. Like It just looks great. I think it, someone drove it down yesterday when we were filming the other cars, and I, I looked and I was like, that's actually really nice. Especially as a first car as well, if you're new to driving. You did know? you get in the back though? I didn't. Oh my goodness. I didn't. Like, I mean, I, they have to fold me up and shove me in the back. It is quite compact. <laughs> and it looks back. like a little SUV, and I doubt it's better than your E208. It, it's slightly better, because I've spent a lot of time in that one as well. Everything and it is, is better for you. <laughs> no, it's, the official range is, again, similar to the E208, just over 200 miles. Um, I'm it's getting the same about, power pack. Yeah, I'm getting about yeah. 170 in that again, again 160. See, that's not bad, is it? It's not bad. You know what? It's not bad. Um, it's got that 50 um, kilowatt hour battery. It's quite nice and punchy as well. Um, I just don't, I don't love it. But again, I think it's a good practical family car. That I sort get of, it. That you can do longer journeys in if you need to do. Um, but when you get on the motorway, I'll tell you what, you, that battery drops. Yeah. It really does. It's that, not, it does not love the motorway at all. But yeah, I think it's a good solid choice. You want solid choices? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go old school. Okay. I, know, I, I bet you, I bet you know, if I said it's the world's best-selling electric Miss car. Miss Stanley. What, oh, Ginny. Don't <laughs> spoil all it's, of that. It's hard. I was going for a reveal. But is it? Or is the Model 3 overtaken it now? I think the Model 3 is overtaken it? it now. Yes, it's sales. Because yes. of last oh, year's right. sales. I'm not 100% on that, and I'm sure that you will all correct me in the comments below um, if I'm wrong. But I have a feeling it might now be... Uh, Tesla. It might be the Model 3. It's one of those ones where, you know, like when we were first looking at electric cars, the Leaf and the Zoe, the Renault Zoe, were really the only two that you could yeah. get. Uh, or mainstream ones. That you and they're, yeah. they're everywhere. Every charging station that I go to now, there's always a yeah. Nissan Leaf parked but, uh, somewhere. It, and the only ones that are decent secondhand because yeah. they've sold so many of them. But the, there's two versions. There's a, a 40 kilowatt hour battery and a 62 kilowatt hour battery. If you're talking about under 32 grand, we can only afford the smaller, <laughs> the smaller battery. But it's still, I mean, it's still pretty good. It'll do about 168, 170 miles. The problem for the Leaf is stuff like your ID3. Yeah, because yeah. the ID three feels more modern. It's fresher, doesn't it? It just it, it's got a it's got more vavavoom about mm -hmm. it, and the leaf. But that doesn't make the leaf a bad car; just one that feels it's a, it's, it's a more solid, mature, a solid, dependable choice. And yeah. you know they've been making electric cars for a long time. They have, yeah, and it shows experience. with that. But yeah, it still looks like an Uber driver though. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, nothing, okay. nothing against Uber drivers. <laughs> yeah, can all the yeah. Uber drivers please get in touch with a Tommy at Gadgets not. Boy? And uh, and let you know. Let him I do know tip very think. well when I get Ubers. I tip very well. So there you go. Some of our off the cuff, off the wall, <laughs> slightly cheaty um, choices for the cars that qualify for the government grant mostly, apart from one. Uh, and of course, this video is going to get instantly out of date when they change the rules again. Yes, it will. And because it keeps changing, please do like and subscribe and click that little bell icon so that you know when our next video drops and we'll keep you up to date with all the latest news. Like changes to the government grants. Yeah, or the Honda e-price list. <laughs> <laughs>